Hi, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I'm a empath. Hey, okay. I like that word. I'm gonna use it. Some say that I can't be one because I'm a girl. I never bought into that stuff much my whole entire life. And <clears throat> I dare say I'm not gonna start today. So, I was watching, uh, I just like to gather data, you know, I let the, I let the universe guide me, you know, I just always go with the, well, not always, sometimes I do not go with the flow, I try to go with the flow, and I have a lot of practices, tools I use to try and stay in the flow, but I am a human being, and human beings do make mistakes. And sometimes that is getting out of the flow. Anyway, I was listening to a cool talk this morning. It's on, uh, I really like the Ozarks Publishing, Mountain Publishing channel on you, the tube. Yeah. And then I was, this is an interesting thing, because I know, I believe in astrology and astronomy and all that stuff, and energy, energy, it's all energy, everything's energy, and everything's energy. Um, it's just interesting that because I'm looking at a picture on another screen over here. Maybe I'll put the link up. Anyway, the video is called uh, the video is called the Judgment Day Ascension Device: The Race for the Most Powerful Secret of All Time by William Henry. And uh, he's a good talker. I I like when people are relatable. You know, some people are so have such a higher opinion of themselves and their egos are so loud all I hear is <laughs> so they can be on the stage and they can be you know selling their promoting their peace selling their truth and doing all this stuff and I'm just like <laughs> I can't hear past your freaking $500 pair of shoes that you're wearing so because I don't think because spiritual it's pure, people like me the hearty ones the ones of the heart you know the ones that I'm in line with, you know, not all of them. I'm sure that there's rich spiritualists that are freaking no more than me, you know. And they, it's their incarnation. Whatever people do is on them. It's not for me to freaking, either I can hang out, either act the way you want, you know, and then I can decide if I want to hang out with you. Right, that kind of thing. Anyway, back to the <clears throat> Library of Congress reading room. In there, there's a guy got to go in there and take some pictures because he was, um, because the lady knew who she was, you know. And, uh, and it, there's all these pictures in the li in this one sitting room in the li in the reading room at the Library of Congress, and and he got to go in there and take pictures, and they're all and there's these different on the on the ceiling. There's seven pictures of different colors, and they're all <laughs> the colors of the chakra system, you know. This is stuff that. The privileged have kept for their information. If you could get my, what I mean, you know what I mean? They made it privileged information by deeming themselves privileged and only them getting to know, you know? About, I knew about, I've always known about the chakra system and the energy and things like that because, like, I freaking grew up right next to Mount Shasta knowing. I knew that Mount Shasta was the Earth's first chakra system. That was kind of how the reason how I fell into the chakra system knowing and all that. And, I mean, I've been blessed to, you know, the universe has been, has put me in, in places of, of where I need to be to learn, you know. I've got to see the, the, you know, the, the folks from the Hoopa tribe came down and did a dance for us when I, when I was at Rother, when I was in fourth grade. That was freaking cool, you know. I mean, I've got to inadvertently, you know, I wouldn't think that I would have gotten to experience so much life, but I've gotten to experience so much life, you know. And, and in my life, I've put, to, put together a lot of this stuff. Like, the guy in this talk was saying, he was, he was, he's talking about the Ark of the Covenant, you know, and all this stuff is subjective, and it's, it's up to interpretation and all these things, you know. But, I mean, even when I study different pieces of, of different religions, Buddhism, you know, which Buddhism, there's another story in that too, which is weird that China is trying to take Buddhism. China is trying to hijack Buddhism and say that it's a Chinese religion. And all history related belongs to China. China is trying to 
take Buddhism away from Tibet. It's freaking bullish. It's bullish. It's gross. Don't worry, Tibet. Some of us know. You know, you and the Dalai Lama. That's 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 your area. That's your field. And you know, bullies try to take because they're not so creative. They can't come up with something good enough for your own, substantial enough from your own. So you got to take ideas from from smaller people. That just shows who you are. You always been like that. Oh, that's just how China is. <laughs> you know. I hated that. God, I've seen so many men get away with stuff because that's how men are, you know? Men are like that because people allow it. People don't say, you know what? That's just plain rude and gross. And How can you live with yourself acting like that? That's what I want to know. When people are freaking bore bullies and freaking like to freaking berate and belittle people and insult people and, you know call them out for their character defects without looking at their own, you know, calling other people out for their character defects without acknowledging their own and without even having a freaking inclination that what you see in other people are the problems that you see in yourself, you know. But anyway, back to this talk that he was uh, going on, this guy was talking about. Is You get... All religions tell you a little bit. It just gives you a little, and you get to put it together your own picture, you know. And what I believe in is something that's going to be in the best interest of my higher self, you know. And a lot of people, they're living as their subconscious and their conscious at the same time. That little voice in your head, it's your subconscious, man. It's the, But it's doing for what's right. For your highest good. Your subconscious isn't going to say, you know, isn't going to talk to you into embezzling the company that you work for and, you know, talking to you. That's your ego. See, people get it twisted. If it's for your highest good, it's for your conscious. It's for your pocket or for your, to make you feel better about something. Not related to money, you know, all, all, all that stuff is materialistic, it's material listics things that's all ego higher good conscience ego materialistic greed of the flesh this stuff is easy you know but people freaking keep creating this insidious freaking nasty dirty gross karma and then wonder why they're so unhappy <laughs> just it's so plain to see to me and ah do people want to get happy? Do they want to be happy? I mean, are so many people afraid of that vibrational frequency of happiness and joy that they just really are trying to repel themselves from it? Maybe that's what's happening. I don't know. They gotta trim that down because as much as I love Led Zeppelin, I don't want no ding. No, no ding. No, no whammies. Um, what else? Is, oh, I did talk. I did talk. A good boy. Everybody's ready for spring. This is kind of a funny story. It was a thoughtful gesture. My landlord brought me over some plants. Left them on the front door for my birthday. <laughs> it's just weird because pretty sure she knows I haven't had water since June. But it's the heart. See, you gotta look at the heart space that matters. Pretty sure that you know you gotta you gotta see where where people are coming from you know like I got a text from my brother on my birthday it meant so much to me and then at first I was like that's cool you know that's cool he sent me a text on my birthday because there's been many years that he has it you know and um yeah that's all right because birthdays mean something to me they don't mean something to everybody else and I used to get mad because because they didn't mean something to them so you know I used to think well why don't they you know they know I like them like them for me with me but uh, people don't work that way I like things with people for people you know I get excited and I hate things with people for people I hate that with you <laughs> I love that with you you know I like to feel things with people because when people when I feel love it's no different than any love than anyone else has felt you know what I mean we've all felt the same emotions we've all that's why we're all the same we're all connected we've all had the same experiences we just might have had them under different circumstances, you know what I mean? So, um, so I got a text, and I was like, well, that's great. This might be the last happy birthday I ever get from him, because he's trying to decide come 21st if he wants to talk to me anymore. So, 
That's, I respect his, no, I don't respect his decision, but I'm not going to fight it, because I don't have the energy, you know? I'm trying to make the world a better place, I'm, and I don't have the energy to convince people that I'm a good person. I don't need, feel the need to do that. I don't, because my behavior shows that I'm a good person. My behavior has always shown that I am for the light, and I am for love, and peace, and and I am not a threat, and I do not want to hurt anybody ever. I will defend myself. If the cause is necessary, I will defend myself. So, um, <clears throat> put your hands on me. No deal. You know what I mean? Um, so, uh, I just want to keep living the best way I could be, because I don't want to keep coming back to Earth and learning the lessons that I've been having to learn. So I'm just going to, all right, you win, you know, you win, I just for the light, you know, for the love. And I'm not talking about having spineless, and I think that is hilarious and poignant and telling, I'm going to end up on this, is that with all, for the first part of my incarnation, I, I didn't speak my tr truth, and I didn't stand up for myself, and as a result, my spine has been, that is my tell, my spine has been, it deteriorates, it's like breaking down because I didn't build it up. You know, I didn't stand tall when I had the opportunity, so now it takes more effort, you know what I mean? But I try, I keep doing it, because you got to stay straight, or otherwise you crinkle up, and you stay crinkled, and I don't want to crinkle up. So, um, I don't know, that's all I got. I hope you have a rad day. Peace.